Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangsters, Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collective Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. During the next seven to eight minutes of this video presentation, we are going to go over our buying process. So if you're already familiar with our process or you've watched our videos in the past, please feel free to fast forward to today's vehicle presentation. In Daytona Beach, we have a 25,000 square foot facility where we house 60 to 70 collector cars, all of which we own. Hangsters.com. We are an internet-based business. We have 100, well, 80 to 100 photographs on our website of each vehicle, along with a 20 to 25 minute video presentation. The reason we have this content on our website is because the majority of the transactions we conduct, conduct month after month and year after year are done sight unseen. Yes, people wire us money for 30, 50, $70,000 cars without ever coming to look at them. However, I do not encourage that you do this. Um, classic cars, they're awesome, nostalgic, have great looks, uh, get a lot of compliments, a lot of eyeball, a lot of appeal. Um, but they're 30, 40, 50 year old cars. They are not that brand new car that you're gonna go get from your Ford or Dodge dealer or Chevrolet dealership. Um, they all have flaws, deficiencies, weaknesses, tendencies, some of which we try to disclose in our video presentation and in our photos on our website. I encourage you to come in person to check out the car for yourself. We would gladly pull the car outside for you. You can check out the paint condition, interior condition, real good out in the natural light. You can pop the hood, you can pop the trunk, look the car real good with your own eyes. We have two twin post lifts here in our Daytona showroom. We'd be more than happy to put the car in air for you if you'd like us to. You can check out the undercarriage, uh, the suspension components, the bottom of the motor, the bottom of the transmission, the floor pan condition, the tire condition. We'll let you drive the car. You can see how the car stops, starts, steers, accelerates, uh, how the transmission shifts, how the ride feels, if there's any noises you don't like, if there's any kind of vibrations or, or anything like that you do not like. This way, when the vehicle shows up to you wherever you're at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself in its entirety. In our photo shoots and in our video presentations, we try to represent each vehicle as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can and offer full transparency. However, we can only cover so much content in a 20 minute video presentation and this is why we encourage you guys to come in person and check the car out for yourself. What happens next once you decide on your classic ride? Where do we go from here? If you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and bank wire transfer. And if you're coming to visit us in person, you want to bring us cash, we'll take that too. That does still spend today, believe it or not. Maybe you don't have the cash to buy one of these cars. What, what are my financing options? We work with a few different collective car lenders that offer terms on these vehicles. The terms start at five years and they go up to 15 years. Approval is going to be based on your credit bureau, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, price of the car, things like that. I discussed 15 year term. They aren't going to do 15 years on a $25,000 car. There is price cutoffs for that 15 year approval and obviously you have to qualify on the credit end. The uh, loans from the lenders are simple interest loans which means if your payment's $500 a month and you pay $800 a month, the extra $300 goes towards principal. Also, no prepayment penalty. So if you get approved for an eight year term, which is about the average approval term, and you pay it off in 12 months, they aren't gonna penalize you for doing so. So that makes it nice to own one of these classics also. Short term money loans, you can do that. And then you can pull money out of your home equity line or your 401k or pull cash out of the bank, whatever the circumstances that you have are. Once the vehicle is paid for, what happens? The car goes through a pre-delivery inspection process. We sell old cars. Anything can stop working, anything can start leaking at any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. We torque the lug nuts, we check the tire pressure, we check the fluid levels, make sure the AC's blowing cold if it's equipped, make sure your brake lights work, your horn works, your wipers work, all of that stuff. Once it's green lighted and the guys say it's good to go, then we detail it. After it goes through detail, a carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. We can typically have a truck here within 48 hours. However, 
If you're in a more rural or remote destination or a holiday falls in there, or maybe you're on the West Coast where they do fewer runs because of obviously the travel distance, it may take three, four, five business days to get a truck here, but I promise you, we know you're excited to get your ride. We are excited we earned your business as a customer. We will get you your vehicle as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. If you're the one handling the shipping, let's say you're sending your own carrier or you're coming with your own enclosed or open transport or you're driving the car home because you're close enough, we'll let you know when the vehicle is ready and you can come pick the vehicle up. That about covers our uh, purchasing process here at Hangsters Hot Rods of Daytona. So let's get started with today's vehicle presentation. One of the more popular selling units in our inventory has always been the Chevy Nova. And today we have a 1972 big block car to show you. So let's check it out. 396 under the hood. It is designated on the air cleaner as such. It is a big block car, like I stated. It does have a cowl tag on the driver's side firewall there that we will um, have a picture of on our website. Uh, directly below the cowl tag, you have your brake booster that tells you the car does have power brakes. And then, of course, on the driver's side front of the block, your power steering reservoir, power steering car. So, steering, brakes, big block, 72 Nova. No AC, but we can fix that problem if you, uh, if you so choose. This car has a fantastic paint job on it. Um, I do not know when the vehicle was painted. Uh, we actually have sold this car twice over about the past seven years. Uh, most recent owner had it about three and a half years. Uh, lived in Jacksonville. We took it back in on trade on something that he purchased. So we are back at it once again. Uh, paint on the hood and the top of the fenders is nearly flawless. I'd personally rate this paint job like an eight and a half out of ten. It is not a cheap paint job by any stretch of the imagination. And there's not a whole lot of defects on it other than maybe some faint scratches here and there. But we don't have any other issues. So we'll uh, show you that throughout the presentation. Uh, chrome clarity, real good on the car. Uh, front bumper, rear bumper, uh, grill area. Uh, around the front bumper bolts, there's no rust. Uh, there's no chrome flake, chrome peel, pitting, anything like that going on on the front bumper or on the rear bumper that we will show you later on in the presentation. Stepping around to the driver's side of the car, uh, we're going to check out the front fender. Once again, the black on it is like a mirror. Um, there's no issues in front of the wheel tire area where the uh, paint set blistered, bubbled, cracked, nothing around the uh, wheel opening there going on. Uh, nothing at the uh, bottom of the front fender on the driver's side. Uh, glass clarity on the front windshield is absolutely fantastic. You can see nice clear glass there um, on the front windshield. No chips, no cracks, no splits, anything like that. All your chrome molding that encompasses the front windshield in real nice shape. Your uh, vinyl top, uh, the car does have vinyl top. Vinyl top above the front windshield, no issues there. Uh, no bubbling, blistering going on underneath the vinyl top. Same on the A-pillar. Jumping back to our window glass, uh, vent window, driver door glass, rear quarter window glass, all in real nice shape. Clarity's real good, not scratched up. I mentioned earlier the black paint is like a mirror. Um, real nice paint on the car. Driver door, no exception. Um, no issues down low here going on with any kind of blistering, bubbling, cracking, anything like that. So not only will this car be desirable because it's a black car, because it has a vinyl top, because it has a big block, but the interior combination of red and then a center console four-speed car is going to make this car even more desirable. So driver's side door panel, um, no issues there, uh, no vinyl uh, tear up top. Armrest isn't torn. Uh, the driver door, a uh, little tiny bit of uh, bend at the bottom, but not excessively warped or anything like that going on. Um, no need for a replacement. The uh, red interior with the black exterior gives a great muscle car look to our Chevelles and our Novas. Um, and this one, uh, real nice uh, condition. The uh, driver's seat here, driver's side, fold forward, uh, rear seat. Vinyl's in good shape, both the seat back, seat bottom, OEM seat belts in the rear of the car. 
slide this uh, seat forward here just a little bit. You can see uh, no uh, rips, tears, discoloration in the carpet. Got a nice set of floor mats in there. Uh, dome light illuminates when you open up the driver door. I'll try to slide this seat back kind of at a weird angle. Slide the seat back, show you the uh, front seat. Told you it's a three pedal car, four speed car. Uh, Chevrolet heavy duty rubber floor mats. Underneath the uh, floor mat there, carpet is not uh, torn, ripped. Uh, a little bit of uh, wear and tear on the steering wheel there from a paint perspective. Uh, coming off there a little bit, but a three spoke Chevrolet steering wheel on the car. Uh, her shifter gauges in the center console. We'll take a look at those on the test drive, see if those are working. This is a nice powerful uh, 72 Nova. Back to our vinyl top here for a minute. Um, nothing around the uh, drip rail moldings there. Uh, the vinyl top's in good condition, and then of course your drip rail moldings are uh, installed, put on properly. Another problematic area for our vinyl tops is where the uh, water would run down here, the drip rail, and then kind of settle on the rear quarter. Uh, once again, there's no uh, issues at the rear quarter, just as there was not in front of the uh, front windshield, or on top of the front windshield, and around the uh, driver's side drip rail molding. Uh, back to our glass clarity, rear windshield once again, uh, real, real nice, very, very, very minimal scratching. Uh, the speaker shelf hat rack, that is bowed up there from the sun. Uh, this car has been in Florida uh, for quite a while, uh, so it is peeled up there. We have a new one we're putting in. Um, it's going to go over to the shop, have a new one dropped in, so that won't be puckered up there. We're putting a new one on the back of the vehicle. I just wasn't going to hold up a photo shoot for that. I just tell you, it'll be new, and uh, that's it. BFG raised white letter radial tires on the car. You can uh, see the still photos of the wheels. Wheels and tires are in good shape. Center caps, beauty rings, lug nuts, tires, all that. While we're down there, we'll get a shot of the rear quarter uh, wheel opening molding there around the car. Uh, no paint issues, blistering, bubbling, cracking. Uh, behind the rear wheel and tire on the driver's side there, same deal. Uh, no issues going on down there. Deck lid. The paint on this car for a black car. Black is, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best color. And, uh, but what sucks is it shows every single imperfection. I don't know if you can pick up in the video how nice this paint is on this car, but uh, it, it's real, real nice. Color's uniform, clear's uniform. There's no uh, body issues on the car. Back to our chrome here for a moment. Uh, in the rear, the rear bumper, uh, just as the front bumper was, you know, both real nice front and rear bumpers. Let's take a look in our trunk. Uh, you do have a full size spare. Uh, there is a jack here mounted as well. Uh, you can see the trunks nice and solid there. Uh, the tire to me looks like a, a bias that's probably a little dated. Um, so if you want it to be functional, I would suggest probably buying a new radial tire for it. However, there is a full-size wheel in there, and there is also a jack. And the trunk's nice and solid. Did I mention the body lines on this car yet? Because they're fantastic. Uh, sometimes when we do video presentations on cars, the video does not do the car justice. And what I'm referring to on this particular car is the paint and the body lines. Uh, it's the nicest Nova that it's as nice of a Nova that you're going to find. Um, 1972, big block car, four speed, red gut, vinyl top, fantastic paint, great chrome, great glass clarity. I mean, it's everything that you would want in a classic car collector car uh, or an investment grade uh, vehicle. It's not a concourse quality car, but it's about as good of a driver as money can buy. Uh, back to our vinyl top here for just a moment. Your uh, vinyl top on the passenger side is just as nice as it was on the driver's side. Uh, drip rail moldings, real good. There's a little tiny dent in it right there on the uh, passenger side. It's very minuscule, but it's there if you want to nitpick the car. Uh, the car does have dual mirrors, uh, one on the driver door, one on the passenger door. Opening up the passenger side door, 
Uh, door panel's in good shape. Once again, a little bit of warping down at the bottom, not excessive. Uh, does have some, uh, this uh, wood grain here is like a sticker, and it does have some bubbling there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm kind of running my finger across it to try to show you. Uh, it's bubbled up a little bit right there, so uh, that is present on the passenger side door panel. Um, the vinyl in the car is amazing, both front and rear seats. Uh, real nice shape, no rips, no tears. Uh, again, I don't know when the, I can tell you for, with, with certainty uh, that this car has not been uh, painted and the interior has been redone in the last five or six years. Because like I said, we've owned it twice in that time frame. And uh, this is our third go around. And uh, this car has been the same. Uh, since the first two times we've owned it in terms of color and interior. So uh, driver, uh, passenger door, just the same as the driver's door was in terms of uh, paint quality and condition. Uh, nothing down low, uh, no blisters, cracks. You know, this is where your problematic areas occur. If there's any, you know, rust issues or subpar workmanship uh, from a body standpoint, that's usually where they start rearing their ugly head, but this car doesn't have any of those issues. And it's the same here on the passenger side front fender around the wheel opening molding or around the wheel opening. There are no moldings on it, but uh, the condition of the paint, I don't see anything really to point out on the paint. It's, it's about as good as it gets. It's not perfect. You know, I'm sure you can come here and you can nitpick something, find something, but again, on a 50 year old car, I mean, it's, it's pretty freaking fantastic. Uh, from the glass clarity to the chrome quality to the paint condition um, and presentation, uh, wheels, tires, raised white leather, white gut, four speed, it's, I don't know, it's about as good as it gets for a 1972 Chevy Nova. We're gonna put it up in the air and check out the undercarriage condition. Uh, that's pretty fantastic as well. And then uh, we're gonna take it outside. It's a little warm here in Daytona today, so we will see if this car runs cool when we do our test drive presentation in our 72 big block Nova. Let's take a look at the undercarriage of our big block 72 Nova. You have disc brakes up front. Check out the uh, side of the block here, oil pan, nice and dry. The passenger side, you're not gonna be able to see as well, but we'll give you a shot of it anyways. You got your starter in the way here. You can see a little bit of the oil pan. Uh, hopefully you can see up there the freeze plugs, those look good as well. Uh, exhaust manifolds on this car, going to drop down to a set of duals that we'll show you here momentarily. Uh, the frame rails on the car in fantastic condition. Cross members supporting the transmission up, there's no holes in it that are not supposed to be there. Transmission looks in good shape, nothing seeping, leaking out of it. <clears throat> Floor pans in the car, fantastic. Um, from the uh, driver's side front here all the way back. Passenger side, uh, front to rear, everything, all one solid piece, uh, nothing patched, sectioned, silicone. I uh, mentioned earlier uh, duals uh, coming down off your exhaust manifold. It's got some welds here, and then it's going to have a set of Flowmaster mufflers on the car. Take a look at the uh, rear of the vehicle here. You got drum brake. Drum brakes in the rear, 10 volt, gas tank's in good shape, it appears to be somewhat newer. Uh, tire condition, tread depth fantastic, and then the uh, uh, tread, plenty of life left. Those of you familiar with uh, tire wear, there's your wear bars way down there if you can see them inside the treads. Uh, once you get to the wear bars, time to replace the tires. These tires have plenty of tread left on them. Uh, your exhaust system exhaust down below the quarters here, driver and passenger side, which by the way, the quarters look good as well. You can see, look at that. So when you're looking at a classic car, see this ridge right here? See how it's nice and skinny? It's supposed to be that way. That means the inner portion of the quarter is welded to the outer portion of the quarter and there's no uh, Bondo mud or filler packed up in there. So that's a good thing. It's the same on the uh, driver's and passenger side. I know you guys probably can't see a whole lot looking up into the light and the black, but I'm telling you it's solid up there. 1972 big block Chevrolet Nova. Let's set it down on the ground, take it on a test drive and show you how the car runs out. Inside our 72 Nova, we have a horn. Wipers. 
Driver's side turn. Fuel gauge in the dash does not work. Passenger side turn. 68,307 is the mileage on the odometer. Title reads exempt, true miles unknown. The fuel gauge in the dash does not work because the one down below in the console does. Uh, battery voltage working, oil pressure functions. Good oil pressure and then our temp we'll keep an eye on because it's hot here in Florida. Radio works. Edgewater's Rock Station, 95.7 The Hog and your random facts at Redonkin on 95. Okay. We're idling nicely, not stalling out or anything like that. Uh, no spitting, sputtering, popping. So, let's take this uh, big block Nova on a drive. This freaking car is nice. 50 miles an hour on the uh, Speedo. It functions, it's accurate. Check out the traction on this car. Nice tight steering. This is a nice ride. If you're look, if you're in the market for a Nova, I strongly suggest you buy this one. Our temp's coming up. Nice smooth ride to the car. No vibrations whatsoever. No engine vibration, tranny vibration. The Flowmasters has. They have a nice throaty sound to it, a nice deep, uh, you know, roar, but it's it's not excessive. I mean, but it, it's a nice, crisp sound. Easy to shift, easy to find the keyway on this thing. Uh, no popping out of gear. Super nice car. As soon as we get past this slow poke in front of me, we'll uh, bang it through four gears here as we take the right-hand turn. There's uh, no issues with the brakes either. Brake stop, not only do they stop nice, but there's no pulling, no vibration, no pulsation. We'll let some traffic pass here and then we'll, uh, this car, by the way, I don't know how many horsepower it's producing, but it's quite a bit. It'll, uh, it'll get the job done. The motor's set up nicely. Good, good response in the throttle. Clutch lets out right where it's supposed to. I mean, it's really a great car. I'm going to shut it off there at 70. Now this van in front of me is breaking. Let me get over here. This is a nice ride. It really is. Great paint, great color combination. Drivetrain set up fantastic. We're cooling nicely. We've been running for about 10 minutes now. Um, not even up to half temp, uh, which is fantastic, especially. We're right about 90 degrees today. We're starting to cool off a little bit here in Florida. We had a hot, hot summer, but this is a great, great car. Real nice, smooth ride. Great muscle car look with the black exterior and the red interior great muscle car sound uh, nice tight vehicle it's uh, you know no shake shimmies rattles uh, excessive noise somebody's gonna get themselves a nice ride <laughs> if this thing lasts over a week in our showroom I'd be shocked Look at that, stopping, no hands on the wheel, no pulls, no vibrations. Get yourself a nice muscle car. You'll win a couple uh, trophies it shows for this one. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of the 72 Nova today along with this video presentation you're watching right this very minute. At full retail price, this Nova includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good on the engine, transmission, and the rear end. Internal components. It doesn't cover like valve cover gasket leaks, oil pan gasket leaks, tranny pan gasket leaks, brakes, alternators. It only covers your major mechanical breakdowns. The warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States, which is most independent and franchised facilities. 
along with your dealerships if you really want to go to a dealership on a 50-year-old car. Is the price of the vehicle negotiable? Most certainly is. If we negotiate the price of the vehicle, the warranty comes off. Warranty is good at full retail price, no exceptions. Also, the shipping comes off. Our full retail price program is turnkey. You get the security of the warranty. We'll, we'll stand behind it. And you also get the uh, convenience of having all the shipping logistics taken care of for you. We vest the driver. We pay the driver on pickup. We arrange the pickup. We arrange the delivery. We track the shipment. At a negotiated cost, you're going to do all that like work on your own. Maybe you're a collector, you have your own trailer. You're more than welcome to come trailer to the 72 Nova home if you'd like. Maybe make it a couple day trip here to Daytona. And of course, if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you want to come drive this beautiful rig home, you can also do that. Hankster's Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, Daytona Beach. Once again, our website is hanksters.com. Check us out.